Hey guys, Dark Barbarian here. Today we are making a new Town Hall 3 base, I've only done a Town Hall 3 base on this channel once before, so I thought, why not give you guys a couple of more options to choose from, this video is not going to be like the average base building videos you see on YouTube where the guy plays music on a speed build without ever telling you why the heck are the buildings placed in the way they are placed and you blindly copy it because you have no other option than trusting the video, in this video. I don't want you to trust me blindly, I'll actually do a detailed breakdown of the base on why it's good, even though we don't have enough buildings to work with but I'll try my best to go deep into explaining what was my mindset while making this base, so that you can decide for yourself whether you want to use this base or not, I'll clear you doubts regarding placement of storages and cannon etc, and this base will help you in gaining trophies while saving your loot. I will discuss more about this base in the base analysis part of the base but before that, let's finish the speed build. Let's do the base analysis. First of all, let's talk about the storage placement, why I've kept those storages outside, well it's simply because we don't get enough walls at Town Hall 3 to keep all the defenses and storages inside, so we clearly have to make a choice whether we want to place our defenses outside or our storages outside, most beginners will think. Oh I wanna protect my loot I should place the storages inside to keep them safe. But that's a bad decision because if we put the storages inside and the defenses that are outside gets taken out there will be nothing to protect those storages as they can't defend themselves. So it makes more sense to place defenses inside and use our storages as a tank for those defenses. Since those storages have high hit points they can be used as a guard for our defenses. In this case, defenses are protecting storages by killing the troops that attack the storages, while storages are protecting the defenses by providing them time. But it's not like we're giving away our loot just to protect our defenses. We have set up some measures to keep the storages protected as well. Like we have placed these trash buildings in close to the storages, one building is right in front of the storage, and the other two buildings slightly ahead of the storage by one tile. What this does is keep the attacker troops engaged in useless buildings while our defenses will be targeting opponent's troops, and we've done this on other sides as well, so opponents will have to take out those three trash buildings before reaching the juicy storages. On this side, we have placed a cannon, to protect our storages, as the opponent will have to take out that cannon before reaching our storages. I hope this made sense to you, that placing those storages outside doesn't make this base a bad base. Now let's take a look at the other stuff. As you can see, I've kept the town hall inside the walls, because it is important to keep it safe, as it is worth one star and has a decent amount of loot in it. Mortar is placed in a well-protected compartment of the base and it covers pretty much all the base, covering all our defenses, storages, and outer buildings. Archer Tower is placed in such a way that its range covers a huge portion of the base, which means the base is well secured against air attacks from all sides. The other cannon too is well protected inside walls, and helps in defending ground attacks as it covers a pretty big portion of the base. Talking about storage placement, I'm not sure if you guys noticed it, but we've placed storages alternatively, so that if one side of the base gets destroyed we don't fully lose that one type of resource, if the attacker wants gold they'll have to take out the whole base in order to get all your gold. I hope you guys understood the storage placement. About traps placement, there is not much to say here, we only got two bombs at Town Hall 3 
and the best possible use for them would be, helping that cannon in taking out barbarians. Now coming to our most important defense, the clan castle. Yep, that's right, it doesn't matter how great base layout you might have, it will get crushed if the opponent has high level clan castle troops, so to avoid that, we must also have some defensive troops, for a fair match, and I know some of you might not be in good donating clans, so until you find a good donating clan, I'll tell you a way to get max level troops, just go to the clan search and type request and leave or keywords related to it, you'll find a lot of clans high level clans who are donating troops to people and kicking them after donating, so you just have to join any of these clans, and if you see the chat is active and other people are getting donations, just send a request for troops without any filter, sometimes you might get great troops like max balloons etc. And sometimes you might have to settle with barbarians and archers, after receiving the troops leave the clan before they kick you out, because if they kick you out, you won't be able to join that same clan for the next 24 hours, so you can use this to get high level CC troops until you find a good donating clans, in short, have something in clan castle for defense, as CC troops are integral part of the defenses at lower town hall levels, so defending with the CC troops definitely improves the effectiveness of defense. Now coming to the outer buildings, you can place it according to your choice or place them just like it did, just make sure you don't put the same type of collectors all together otherwise you'll lose all your loot in the collectors easily. That's pretty much it for the base analysis. Now, let's head to the replays. In these replays, you can see how it's doing against some Town Hall 3 attacking strategies but again, if you want your base to be invincible, get some CC troops for defense, that is pretty much it for this video, I wish I could leave a copy link for this base but for now we can only generate copy link for the bases Town Hall 4 and above, so you'll have to copy it manually it'll take less than 2 minutes to do. If you've watched it till here, please consider subscribing so that I can help you with your Town Hall 4 base layout as well, see you guys in the next one.